Deep, isn't it? <laughs> and I have this great belief that you know, you, whatever you can put your mind to, your body, your body will follow. So six years ago, I was paralysed due to a motorcycle accident and told I would never be able to walk. Um, and today we are taking on the Red Bull 400. Now it's been quite a bit of a journey. Previous to my accident, I was quite an athletic dad. So after a family day out, yeah, unfortunately I was knocked off my motorcycle, was paralyzed on the road. So I got airlifted to Annabrooks Hospital where I spent three months in intensive care. It was about four or five weeks after um, my accident, the doctor who actually operated on my, my spine, so I went through like a 10 and a half hour operation. In the hospital room, I, I sat there with my dad, my brother, my mum. My brother sort of asked the question, you know, and just said, look, you know, will he ever walk again? She actually said, yeah, unfortunately not. She said, um, you know, he's probably never going to stand. But after that, you know, we kind of had a brief conversation and, and I just sort of said, how, how do you know I'm, I'm never going to walk again? And she said, look, you know, you'd made such a mess of your spinal cord, just previous accidents, you know, we, we can just confidently say, you know, it's highly unlikely. And I can remember saying to the lady, like, you know, well, you've gone from never going to walk to highly unlikely in an hour's conversation, you know, there's, there's hope still. And uh, she said, I like your um, mentality towards it. So the biggest thing for me was kind of accepting it there and then, but actually in, in one breath, I accepted that I was never gonna walk again, um, but I still had the determination to kind of try do the best I could do. I can remember the first day I actually wiggled my toe. You know, I can remember just staring at my feet for weeks and weeks and just trying to get them to move. And one day I just wiggled my toe and um, I was like, I swear that just moved. I kind of convinced myself it didn't. And then I'd done it again and I was like, wow, you know, this is, this is the start of a recovery. I wiggled that toe for hours and hours and hours while I was still strapped to the hospital bed until it became easy. I had these catheter bags and I filled it up to 100 mil, tied a knot in the top and uh, tucked it between my toes, or got the doctor to tuck it between my toes. And I'd done it with 100 mil of water until that became easy, then 200, 300, 400. And I just kept wiggling this toe until um, you know, that was moving quite well and that was the start of my, my recovery. Get your ass. Drag yourself, drag yourself, get your ass over it. Good work. Yes, man, that's halfway. Come on. Mate, it's not even good. Yeah. So now it gets a little bit yeah. easier and then final push. Come on, Ben. When I came out of hospital, now I could probably say nobody threw more hours than me into rehab the first two years. I mean, every Morning I was up, I'd done 60 minutes on my FES bike and then drove two hours to physio, done two hours private physio and then in the evening I would do one or two hours of physio myself in, in my gym and then a following hours FES before bed and I'd done that consecutively for, for at least a year and a half, never missing a day. Yeah, I reckon crutches is the way now. Yeah, mate, that's... Come on, Ben. Uh, 
So being told that I'm the first person with a spinal cord injury to, to take on and hopefully complete uh, Red Bull 400 is, is quite inspiring for myself. Throughout my journey, I, I documented it from day one uh, on, on my social media and um, built up quite a big following actually, you know, just inspiring people to actually go out and live a life and, and be positive. And uh, luckily, Wings for Life reached out pretty early on and was just like, this is what we do. I think the thing I love about the Wings for Life charity is that they actually give people hope that they are going to solve the problem of a spinal cord injury. So um, as soon as I got in touch with those, you know, they're, they're such a cool charity. They're keen to, to let me do whatever I like. You know, I throw some silly ideas at them and, um, you know, the Red Bull 400 was one of them. Um, and this just led me here today. So I'm, I'm really grateful for them for being such an amazing charity. So I found out this morning that um, the Slovenia Red Bull 400 is actually the hardest of them all. Um, it's a 37 degree slope, uh, 400 meters long, which I think equates to 200 meters of climb. Um, I've watched people try to do it this morning and they're actually crawling on their hands and knees so uh, I don't know how, how we're going to get to the top but we will. I believe the world record uh, to do this event is 4 minutes and 58 um, so obviously I've got my sights set on that. Um, actually not, no, I mean if I can do it in under an hour but I have no idea whether this is going to take me 1 hour, 2 hours, 10 minutes, I don't know. Um, but you know the plan is to just start and get to the top. Tough as one of them all so I wouldn't want to do a different one. That was tough, I'm not even going to lie, that was... That was tough. I just, I, I love that internal battle, you know, like when the, that little brain, in, that little voice in my head was saying, look, Jim, don't do it, stop, you can hurt yourself. And then the other brain's going, he's trying to cheat you. Just get up there, you know, keep doing it. I'm just happy the, the, the big voice won. We're looking for people to sign up to the Wings for Life World Run. Um, so that's how you can support me for doing this. You know, download the app, head over to the Wings for Life charity and sign up and um, run for those that can't. You know, you can push, you can roll, no distance, finish line catches you, and all donations go 100% to spinal research to help people like myself. So, you know, if you're inspired, please go sign up and uh, really make a difference to everybody.